What's going on fans? This is another episode of NFHN. If you don't know what we do, we update all you guys on the recent hockey news. And yeah, don't forget to give us a like rating because it really helps us out a lot. Yeah, so first we're going to talk about the Detroit Red Wings and the Phoenix Coyote game. And you can bet the Phoenix Coyotes fans are definitely not happy with this series. Yeah, there was tons of people crying in the stands and it just like panned over and showed all the crowd. There's people literally crying in the stands because they know that the Phoenix Coyotes probably won't have another season there. They'll be moving to Canada in Winnipeg. And it just I just was watching the game like afterwards, the aftermath, and it showed the Phoenix fans and then showed tons of Jet fans. They're all wearing their jerseys and they're all cheering because they want the Phoenix Coyotes to go to Canada. And then it showed one guy in the middle, he was this huge Jack guy, in the middle of all the friggin' uh, Jets fans. And he was just like, his arms were crossed and he had the most pissed off face you'd ever see. And I thought it was hilarious. But you guys can just check out the highlights of that game right now. Matsu, he's in, holding, out in front, great pass, great goal, Thomas Holmstrom. Tie it, out in front, they score, and pinballs in and off Jonathan Erickson. Jonas steal, his shot, loose, it's In the back check, they score! It pinballs in after all the chances he has had. Todd Bertuzzi, Hunt, Patrick Eves will seal it for the Detroit Red Wings. Okay, now we're going to talk about the Washington Capitals and the New York Rangers game, and New York should be ashamed for blowing a 3-0 lead. How do they blow a 3-0 lead? It is beyond me. I don't know, but maybe you should ask Gabrick. Gabrick? He was probably like, Oh, I'm tired of playing overtime. I'll just throw it into my own net. <laughs> Boom! And you could tell Lundqvist too. He he was so mad. He was he was up praying to the <laughs> hockey gods. Why did you do this to me? Why? <laughs> <laughs> but you you guys can check out the uh, highlights right here. Handed it onto that back. Michael Sauer lifts one that's whacked wide by Drury. And then a big shot is in. Ball. Here's a back. Cross. Brooks like with it there. Drunk one in front. Score! At the net mouth was Yon again. Alter across. Score! A ripper from the point. May have been tipped on route. For a shot by Chimera that's blocked down. And pushed right in on goal. And in the net! The Capitals have won in overtime in a freaky sort of developing play. Now we're going to talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins of the Tampa Bay Lightning game. Yeah, I can't believe how close the scores are in these games. Yeah, especially how the Tampa Bay Lightning have all that scoring. St. Louis, Stamkos, Vincent LeCavalier, and the Pittsburgh Penguins have like nobody to score for them. I know, and you got to give it to Marty St. Louis too, because his teammates are always going offside on him, it seems like. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he's been playing really well too lately. And then you got Aaron Asham scoring these goals for the Penguins. Who is he, the next all-star of the Penguins? Like, come on. Like, the Penguins players that are good aren't stepping up to the plate, and then you have our, like average player stepping up to the plate, which could be a good thing, but you never know. And then you have Chris Letang. He's a defenseman, and the Pittsburgh Penguins don't even know what to do. So he's the one, like, taking leadership. He's like, okay, well, I guess I'll take the puck in, even though I'm the defense. And he's doing all these nice moves around the Tampa Bay D and rushing the net. A defense rushing the net? And the only thing is, though, when he rushes the net, he loses his position on D, and someone has to cover for him every time, so... That's kind of weird when you think about it. You think the coach would be like, okay, since you players are being stupid, we might as well put Chris Letang center. Like, I wonder what happened if they did that. I don't, I don't know, but he is an offensive uh, defenseman, and he is good, and he's showing his skill, and I think he should keep it up. But uh, what do you think about the James Neal goal, though? Oh, my God, don't get me started on that goal. It was such a fluke, and I'm a Penguins fan, but, guys, that was a fluke. He was looking at the boards. He picks up the puck. He turns around and shoots it, and... Rollison didn't expect it. It went over his glove, well, to the side of his glove and in. We're just going to show you a quick little video. The board's closing in. Shooting, he scores! Tyler Kennedy there. Lovejoy with time. He fires. Kicked out Rollison. Rebound, Asham shooting. They score! Le Cavalier 
Trying to send it in for St. Louis. Here he comes with speed. He scores! Wrists it. Deflected. St. Fleury. Scramble on. This guy! Bergener! It's chopped free. Stahl gets it under control. Neil the shot. He scores! Oh, no. We do not own this video. We are not making any money off this video. This is an NHL video that they have made last night. We do not own it. Don't take our video down, YouTube. We are telling you right now. Just be one, and, and Neil and everybody else will forget the last 21 games for James Neal, where he hasn't really got on the board too much. It just takes one. There it is! He scores! James Neal saved it for overtime, and the Penguins take a 3-1 lead in the series. It just takes one. And that's why James Neal is the hero in Pittsburgh. I can't believe they made a history will be made video off that shot. I know, I mean that was just a terrible shot, a terrible goal. The history will be made should be only for the glorious moments in the NHL. That's what it should be for. Yeah, like he took that shot without even looking. It was a blind man shot and he luckily got it in. And like yeah, what does it prove anyway? Like it it they won the game in the series. Like it's three one now. Yeah. And history will be made by a fluke. Like, honestly, that's what they're pretty much saying when you think about it, guys. Leave a comment down below. Should that be a history should be made video? Or do you think they screwed up on that one? You guys let us know. Now we're going to talk about the Philadelphia Flyers and the Buffalo Sabres game. And Miller got a second shutout of the series. Yeah, Miller is a good goalie, and I respect that. Especially getting a shutout in the playoffs, because that's the hardest time to play hockey is in the sh playoffs. And the Philadelphia Flyers never came to play that game. So you think they would be so good because they have so many players and so much talent. They even have to put players down on the firm team. They have so many players and so many good talent on that team. But here are the highlights so you guys can check out the score of that. Well, you already guys know the score of that game, but just check it out. Low to Ennis. He left it right beside the net. Pass it, but they score! And we're going to talk about the Anaheim Ducks and the National Predators game. I can't believe how high scoring these games are, and they're so close, and I wouldn't have imagined it. And yeah, you gotta give it to Team Usani, the old fart. You still put it in the net. Yes, yeah, surprisingly, because you wouldn't think that he would be able to contend against all these young players, but he can still put it in the net, like you just said. I'm oh, joking, Solani. You're not an old fart. Yeah, I know. I know Team Usani watches our videos. He watches them every day. He sends he, me a message. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe how much he watches our videos. And he said, apparently, I'm a sexy motherfucker. You, know, you gotta beat that out. Passes tip back. Fowler shot to score. Fowler with the shot. Buck turned over to Blake. Coming on the shot. No, the rebound. And put into the net by Saku. Comes to Spitz. Right in front and Hornquist scores. The back door is Ward. And the Ooh. score! Cody Branson. Fowler with Getzlaff. Tried to gun in, they do. Solani in the low slot. And on the, here's Halishuk waiting. Coming on Klein. Forced wide Benino. Klein comes one. Halishuk scores! To the front of that, the score! The Ducks take the lead. Gets left the shot, the score! And the Ducks have stuck a real deck. Working his way in, the shot and the score. You talk about daggers. Now it's time to answer your guys' questions. If you have any questions about hockey or anything in the NHL, leave a comment question down below, and we will answer and give you guys a shout out in the next video. Also, it'd be cool if you guys left a video response question. We will put it on the screen, and we'd like to see your guys' sexy faces, the sexy faces of the fan nation. You're probably saying, Johnny, don't say that again, but let's see what the first comment question is.